Masawara Tosa Ogwori. I retire from the Nigerian Navy. Thank you, Father. I live at Ilobo, along with Kwafo, Badagi Road. I'm a visitor. Uh, the Admiral Atakba is my boss, is my friend. So I was having land issue. So I went to him to help me. So while I was there, I saw some testimonies that were being played. So I told him about the land issue. He said he will help me. So after that, and I told him, sir, I am having frequent urinating and sleepless nights. That uh, I want that the geo to pray for me and touch me. He said, no, that uh, what he will do, I should just come to this place and sit and listen to the worshiping. So I came. When I came, the police were disturbing me about my land issue. So I was going up and down to make calls. At the end of the day, I came back. When I came back, that the Jew was praying. He now measured pie. He measured pie and arthritis. I said, ah, I'll be going up and down. How can I get any miracle in that? So after the uh, after the prayers and everything, I went home. When I went home, it was on Thursday that I came. By Friday, stroke Saturday, as I said, having divine surgery. Mm -hmm. The surgery is not painful, but I'm feeling it in my anus. Hmm. Because I have pie. The pie has been there for 42 years. 42 years. I had that pie when I came back from India. Because we went to India for physical training, total course. The course was tough. So when I came, I started experiencing it. It was little. Before I know it, it started expanding and growing. So, that divine operation, and I said, I need to confirm it, whether the pie has gone. So there's a type of food we normally eat in my place. I say I will eat that food. If I can go to the toilet, if I can stew, and I will not have hindrance, then I, the pie has gone. So I went to the market, I bought that food, I ate. There were no hindrance. Hey! Miracle of God of Chosen. I said that is not enough. I want to confirm it properly. I did that for three times. And I discovered the power has gone. Power! Clap your hands and go God of the Chosen. 42 years pile disappeared after one touch in choosing. Not only that, I was having arthritis in my uh, joints and my waist. I also discovered that those arthritis has gone. Power! How long was the arthritis? The arthritis lasted how many years? I want to be grateful to the Admiral Atakpa. The arthritis has been there for over 10 years. Over 10 years. Over 10 years, the arthritis has been there. I never knew they would leave me. But the arthritis has gone. Clap your hands unto God of the truth. I want to be very grateful to the Admiral Takpa who directed me to this place. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to him. That's what you are talking He's about. He's my boss. I'm keep on respecting him. Amen. I want to pray for that the Gio before I leave. I pray that God will renew his strength. Amen. Like ego. Amen. That the anointing will flow. Amen. The anointing will flow like a river that has no end. Amen. The anointing that 
God gave to Jesus Christ. Acts 10, 38. The anointing flow with power and it has no, has no end. So I thank God for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage you to continue in fellowship. You wanted Gio to pray for you and lay hands on you and the real admirer said no. Just come, sit down, listen to the message and by the time you receive prayers, you will receive miracles and you have received the miracles. Will you continue in fellowship now? I want to know from you. I actually am a visitor, as I said before. Okay. And uh, I also belong to another denomination. Okay, no problem. But I'll be coming here every Thursday. Okay, that's a good one. You are blessed. You can go. You are free to go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's, it's a matter of time. Wait, Amen. Wait, wait. Praise the Lord. Wait. Please. Brother. Hold on. Hold on, our Jew is at the pulpit. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for that testimony. Our God is so great. The sicknesses that he mentions, some of them have lived in his body for 42 years and 10 years and so on. And then one of our brother came, he, he visited him to seek for solution, to ask him to get to the pastor so that prayer can be made for him. And our brother said, no, come and sit down and listen that your problem will be solved. Praise the Lord. And this, our brother, by the special grace of God, has been in another church. But because of understanding, because of uh, knowledge, he knew it's better to be in the place where God can save where God can heal the same place God will take you to heaven from such place they can save you, heal you deliver you now that our brother because he has been here he consulted him for remedy and he brought him to this place today we are hearing his testimonies assuming that that our brother did not remain did not change and become a chosen he will not bring him here and his problem will remain so God cannot do anything without a reason God are using him who came and remain to bring you in. And when you come, God wants you to remain. And then bring God to come. Whether you are in Lagos or not in Lagos, the branches of choosing is all over the nation and all over the world. So wherever you find yourself, the Lord chosen is there. And if your church cannot change you, I cannot heal you, I cannot bring solution to your needs, 
What are you doing there? You want to die, you want to suffer to death and go to hell. Change that church and be in a place where there is God. So that God will use you to help others to be saved and make heaven at last. So my counseling to him is that choosing is everywhere. Look for the Lord choosing wherever you are coming from. Join them. You will see that this miracle is just beginning of miracles. These are beginning of miracles. When you come in, you will see the real miracles. The real miracles that make you and your family and your generation great. And also, at the end of it all, you make heaven at last. This is what is obtainable when you remain. So, believe you, God has given you an attraction to give you the real thing. And you are not convinced that you went away. You won't get that in which God, God is preparing for you. That God are you giving you an attraction so you can receive it. You can receive it. So, all I want to let you know is the Lord choosing is not a place where you come and be here and go to your former church just because you are um, a member of that church. I want to let you know member of that church and that church cannot end your salvation. So if you are here, this is a church. Come and remain. And you see the great things which God will do in your life. Praise the Lord. Besides this, we have heard of our brother, uh, God has used him mightily. For some time now, we are hearing of people whom he directed to choosing and they became healed. They, become, they became saved. Delivered. I remember one one of the one of the persons that gave testimony how how that uh, his life was so terrible. The life of that young man was so terrible that there is nothing they have not done for him to stop that bad life. And he, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like the bad, that bad life. And besides, I had other sicknesses and disease problems. For that bad life, he said, when the spirit the evil spirit will come upon him. He will spend all his salary to give a woman to commit immorality. He will spend all the more everything that he had. He will be on the road looking for somebody and that's how he has been living a miserable life. And sickness was everywhere and to worsen it that case of immorality until he met this uh, very brother that he mentioned now and then he directed him to choosing and prayer was made that was the end of that evil that was the end and that person gave this testimony and uh, with a lot of appreciation and made up his mind to remain he has directed so many people with sicknesses, afflictions of all kinds. The question is this. How many people have you directed? How many people have you brought here today? How many people have you told what God is doing here and compared them to come? Are there not people with affliction and sickness and disease and there are no people who are into terrible evil lifestyle. And there are no people who are 
having sentence of death hanging upon them and if you you don't do anything to reach them before you know it they will die and they will go to hell how many people are there looking for who will direct them to the right place our brother said 42 years sickness 10 years sickness have been there once he came here the whole matter had been cleared and we have so many people outside there that have some of these uh, afflictions, diseases, sicknesses, troubles, and yet you don't bring one person to the church. I want to let you know the reason for your conversion, for God bringing you here to save you, is for you to help others to come and be saved. And if you are not doing that, God is not happy with you. If all of you that are here now, you are not able to convince 1,000 people, 2,000 people to follow you here today, then it means if you have been here for a long time, that's why you have some problem and God left you with it. Because you have fed from your primary duty. Once you are born again, God expected you to compel others to come in. Because there's no more time. Let them come and be healed, be delivered, be saved. And they can come. The issue is who is talking to who? And who is concerned? And who has compassion over other people that are suffering? So if you are here and you didn't convince anybody to follow you today, you should repent. You should really cry to God and ask God to show you mercy. And that must stop. If you are coming to church, the joy, the joy is that you came with somebody. The honor, the glory is that you came with somebody. The miracle, the reward, is that you came with somebody because God Almighty made us to understand that this commandment is that you should love others as you love yourself you shouldn't be somebody a selfish you are in the church only give me give me my 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 my, my husband my wife my children my, my business, my money, my health. What about others? I want to let you know God is not happy with a selfish person. God is not happy with a selfish person. God is not happy with somebody who does not see the need to help others. God is not happy with somebody whom after he has given you salvation you want to go to heaven alone. After he has healed you, prospered you, you want to have it alone. God wants you, you, that before you are coming to church you must have prepared another person so that God will bless you. You must walk on another person to follow you. So that person will be saved and be delivered. And God will be happy that he gave you talent and you are using it. So I want to plead with you this issue of safe fish Christianity must stop in our midst. If our brother did not talk to our brother that gave testimony now we won't have you will not hear the miracle we will not hear the testimony we will not hear the testimony and the, the glory will not go to God I want to let you know there is too much grace and too much power God has given to us in this church 
and had too much grace and power is not for few just few people it's for the whole world and you have been hearing testimonies now man no, no kind of problem that comes here and survive you must not allow the devil to make you to be safe fish and not see the need to help others there is no kind of problem no kind of sickness no kind of disease no kind of sin or yoke that God is not breaking his choosing but when you are coming you the same you comes only for your headache for your this if God take it away from you you will go so that I leave it because he wants you to do his will bring others so they crying for money 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 the Bible said that he that repaired received received wages if you are winning souls you God will pay you from heaven to give you money so I want to let you know we have to take serving God serious we have also help see the need for so winning for evangelism bringing people to church very serious let them come and be converted let them come and be saved be healed if we are coming only on for our selfish interest God will not be interested look at this brother that our brother testified of has not been long he came to the Lord choosing but so many people have been testifying how he brought them to choose how many people have you brought I want God to bless you I want to we told you today uh, for having a special program for you but I want to let you know if I should, if I cannot find the newcomers I cannot come out I just sit down inside and listen to a message as you listen and we go until you are ready to do something I know that if I tell the people in August State I'm coming now there will be no space if I tell people in Oyo State I'm coming people will come if I tell people in Abuja I'm coming there will be no space if I tell people in Edo State I'm coming there will be no space if I tell people in Plateau State I'm coming there will be no space if I tell the people in Imo State in Anambra State anyway Kaduna today I said going to Kaduna there will be no space where I'm going to stay where people are going to stay so it's like you are saying you are you want me to to really move because I can't waste this grace with few people or people who are not ready to are not excited well I appreciate you people who are selfish if I send message to the public opinion that I'm coming there tomorrow let them tell people. If I send a message to Ghana, to Côte d'Ivoire, to Burkina Faso, as you know, we're going to Cameroon. See that people are getting ready everywhere. You can come over and see what will happen. I think you, are, you have so familiarized yourself with uh, my presence. So, what I have to do, I have to take another initiative on what to do to help you. Praise the Lord. The way to help you is to leave you for some time and go to another place so that you will look for me. And then when I come back, you will appreciate me. Do you hear what I said? Praise the Lord. If you say no, where show me the cause? Where is the where are the people? You want me to be talking to you every day? Talking to you. Where are the people? Now I'm going to sit down. 
you can take your telephone call all the people you know let them come we are talking about the experiencing the wonderful move of God and now who are the people the same you I was talking to please take your telephone call them now let the people come to church today is our service and I want to let you know and in the places where we have those people who are not really are born again you see them rushing and pushing and going to to places people that are not really born again if you look at them you know that these people are not really born again and yet you see them pushing rushing to places where the corporate houses and you know what you say you know what God is doing here and you know what will happen as we go to pray as we go to minister to you and you cannot bring people to come do you want what are you trying to you know show the people are you trying to tell them if you don't have a, a raw material then I want to let you know if you don't have people who you will pray and be healed and delivered where will the healing who will go heal who will God save who will God deliver so take your telephone begin to call the people to come to service or I can even dismiss you go and bring them to come before we talk about administration go and bring them to come the idea is that even the worst is that many people want to operate like unbelievers what I mean by unbelievers is many people want to go to market and struggle and struggle to get money to do like unbelievers as they were before they became born again they don't see the need of placing God as number one priority any of the fellowship you say close everything that your source is not by struggle that it is the gift of God that it is the grace of God somebody he told you last uh, two, uh, uh, Tuesday as we finish praying there and pray for the miracle Allah and so on Allah to 10 million came into the, the, the phone if he has gone to market he will get nothing and that miracle will not happen our miracle is no longer just as much as you think in the market that miracle is with God once you pray to God what can make anything happen in your life so I don't want to come here and be talking like this you must all of you let us try to follow the trends the way this our brother have been mentioned is inviting everybody to come to choose it. if all of us are doing like that this place will not contain us so I give you time to call on them except you don't want you don't want the wonderful move I will go and sit down and I will tell other people I'm coming for the wonderful move you will travel and come and see what will happen may God bless you Testify. Susan praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Evangelist praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Regina Tukwemeka. I live number four additional street. My branch is Son of One branch. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moderator, I want to sing. Sing. 
I have come to thank you. The God of chosen, I have come to thank you for what you have done. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God to confirm the word of, of the Bible say that he that sent you is with you. My brethren, it happened that in my street, they are parking cars in that street. And because of that, thief is always coming in that street to evangelize the motto. So that reason the people employ the security man there. And security have a dog that is stay with him. So on, on Monday, this Monday, even on this Saturday, the thief come around three o'clock, but they don't succeed that day. So on Monday, when I'm going morning cry in the morning, I came out, I see the dog. The dog will see me. So as he are looking at me at me, I'm looking at him, so he pass. I dog will pass. Me, I pass the go where I'm going. Brother, the next thing I again I hear from dog is in my back. The two leg of the dog is in my waist. The dog bites me here. Uh. So I scream, I shout, Jesus, I turn back. See dog there. He's looking at me, I'm looking at him. I release the, the rope of the mark. I say, if you near me now, I will kill you. So the man came out. They do have the like this for dog. I say, Madam, they go. They go. I see if you come, I will kill them. He said, Madam, they go, they go. So I left them. I went to where we are gathering. And when I reached that place, after we have finished, I called one of his sisters. I said, help me check my bag. And when he checked, he said, you don't see anything. I'm telling you that the God of choosing confirmed his word in my life. Amen. That nothing happened to me. Even the apron, I wear where he, where he is, but nothing happened for apron. Clap I your hands on to God of the chosen. That is why I come here to return all the glory, honor, adoration, thanksgiving to this God of choosing who have delivered me from the bath of the dog. Amen. Because he done a great thing for me. I say his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. In this junction, I pray for my daddy in the Lord, which God have called. And because of call of God on him, he protecting us and guiding us. Since we came under this, this ministry, because I'm one of people that came in choosing crossover. And since then up to today, God has chosen proving himself in our life. Amen. And the God who called our pastor will continue guiding our pastor, continue protecting him. He's going out and coming in. No evil shall fall upon him, neither upon his family member. Wherever he's going, angel will carry like ego wind and going and come back in Jesus name. Amen. All the chosen brethren, I pray heaven at last for every one of us, me and my family. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him for that protection. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moderate or Kalu, give me a chance to, to sing a bit. Please sing. God of choosing, God of choosing, God of choosing, you are so good. God of choosing, God of choosing, God of choosing. So oh God of choosing. So oh God of choosing. So oh God of choosing. So good. More and more. So good. More and more. So good. More and more. So good. The God of Jehovah. So good. I'm a Kurazurike. So good. Echa to be sike. Our daddy heaven. Our daddy heaven. Our daddy.
Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Frank Emba. Reside in Omaha. I know we, me and my family know the church since 2006. I thank God for the salvation of my, my soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of Chosen. My story, my testimony is like this. I related to my hair a year plus now, according to the direction of God. I'm a native of Omudike, Michael Obara University. One as I reside in Omaha, repairing keke and selling the pass. I counter stroke. Stroke, partial stroke in the midnight. Around 12 o'clock, 6 in the morning, battling. I thank God, the God of choosing, that I started calling. Come and save me. God take control. I creep and enter side and call my neighbor. And neighbor took me to how we are gotten started having treatment. My camp, my call, my wife called my family. I thank God that my wife visited me. My wife said, We are going to church because of the program. We are going to headquarters because of Easter program. I said, okay. We will be there here. Seeing that, let them come back. Seeing this thing happen, Jehovah visited me in Omaha and tell me the problems I'm having. Say, gradually, everything will roll off. Amen. So, my wife took me here. I cannot be, let me just cut it short for other people. So, my wife took me here. I thank God during that uh, program because I spent Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to here in this place my wife from Masamasa bringing food for me every day here that day them, I have many tests I was supposed to test, testify let me cut it to read the direction of the our people so Pastor Mount and Pupi said there is a man they protect a stroke for nothing for, for nothing sake now apart from the stroke they put sudden death on him. And he cannot taste something. He cannot eat and hear the taste of what he eat. I be so I can I will eat. I will not hear the taste. Pastor touched that problem that day. Amen. He said, Now I cancel the spirit of death in your life first. I don't know what carry me, carry me. I fall here. I roll, 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 roll. So to cut it short, I know what God has removed in my life that day, that spirit of death. So my I said let me come and testify because I said we testify this thing when we are having a crusade here in dream. I saw myself where I came to testify. And uh, this song I sang is what I saw in my dream. Okay. That is why I raise it. I want to cut everything here so that to testify. I have many testimonies. My brothers and my sisters, I thank Almighty God, the creator of the heaven and earth, the owner of the universe, the God of choosing, the God who brought this is our Jew. In this wicked world we are now. People are killing people for nothing's sake. Even the generation of vipers. I'm an evangelist. I turn all my around. With the word of God. There is why Pastor make sure they will not kill you for my father because of my father. Wow. The reason why they attack you. No battle, nobody battle stroke for six hours and that person survived it. I thank God since that time, God has rolled away the spirit of death in my life. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I thank God for our G.O. 
Amen. that God brought in this time around. Amen. May God be with him. Amen. Go enlarge him. Amen. Recruit him to Amen. have more powers. Amen. To go all over the world. Amen. It's not easy to have somebody smoke now, smoke. For how many days? Some people normally be one, one year without, they cannot come out. Even raise up your hand. I thank God who made it. I'm the one moving. May hmm. God from pastor bless the whole church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heaven and last for Amen. the pastor and his family. Heaven and last for Amen. me and my family. Heaven and last for all the members of Lord choosing. In Jesus name. I pray. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. God confirmed the word of his servant. No matter what you are going through today, you will experience power of God in Jesus' name. The next testify. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By a special grace of God, my name is Brother Ike Iberi. I live at number 25 Akimbo Street, Tolu. I joined this wonderful ministry in year 2017. I thank God for making me a choosy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I want to thank God of choosing for healing me for bleeding of nose that lasted one month and two weeks without payment. Thank Praise you, the Lord. Lord. My second testimony, I want to thank God of choosing for helping me for accommodation of a, a room and self contain Built free of charge, no payment until I leave Lagos. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this uh, John Chong, I want to pray for my GO. That God might make me to understand that he that called the sick of Jacob did not call him in vain. This very God who have called our GO on this new generation. That the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will wear him like an agreement until he fulfill the ten billion souls, and we all will march back heaven at last. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I wish my GO and her entire family heaven at last. Amen. I wish my family and choosing over the world heaven at last. Amen. I cover my petrice money with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him for that divine intervention and miracle accommodation the next testifier choosing praise the Lord hallelujah by the grace of God my name is brother Austin Martins I came all the way from Ghana thank you Lord choosing praise the Lord I joined this ministry in the year 2006 and I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Father. My testimony goes like this. For about a month and some weeks now, I have been around and my reason is we brought a goose to Nigeria and uh, that goose landed here on the 25th of March. So the clearing agent had been finding it very difficult to clear the goose. So for a long time, he had been uh, come today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, next week, the goose will come out. And at a point, the container entered the marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And to call the whole story short, we went through a lot. Then, one of the day, he said that the goose will come out. So we are all hoping and thanking God. So at the end, he called me and said that some enforce, enforcement agents of the custom has also blocked the job, that the container cannot come out on that very day. And that was Wednesday, two weeks ago. 
So I was here two weeks, Thursday, two weeks ago, and also presented the matter to the God of choosing. So while our daddy G.O. was praying, at the conclusion of his prayers, if you were here, you will hear when he mentioned this case. Yes. That G.O. said, I quote, he said, I command that container they are sitting upon to be released in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, do you know what happened? Tell us, we are listening. This container that had been, they are telling us this and that tomorrow, next tomorrow, came out that very Thursday. Power! Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Not only that, it was released that Thursday. The container also came out from the wharf and was packed by the Thursday evening at the warehouse ready for flooding. Wow! Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I give God all the glory. I thank this God of choosing for using our that GO to release that container that the enemy said nobody that are sitting upon it and was a kind of finding difficult to release. We give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. At this juncture, I pray for our that GO that this God that I've called to him will always be with him. And he will always go with him everywhere. He is going for this ministry. God will be with him. God will release grace and power and more anointing upon him. Amen. And as he declared for us the wonderful move of God, this God of choosing in all the crusades ahead of him, there shall be wonderful moves of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that the desires of our pastor shall be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish our daddy G.O. and his entire family heaven at last. And I wish myself, my family, and all the children of the whole world, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Before we take the last.